Harold is one of an estimated 600 million people worldwide with hypertension. He recognises that to control it, he has to change his lifestyle, even with his limited opportunities for exercise and diet control. So four months after his first assessment, he's heading back to cardiologist Malcolm Leggett to see if he's made any progress. Come in and have a seat. Thank you. Right. So it's uh, about four months since I've uh, since I've seen you. Been That's right. Jetting around the globe. I have been. Keep very busy. Yeah, I seem to have lost quite a bit of weight, and I'm mm -hmm. sort of hoping that's going to help uh, change things. And the wine. Um, how much? Are you well, I was a big wine drinker, and. Um, Again, it's part of the program is just to, to continue to minimise it all the mm. time. And then obviously the big question, how's the blood pressure been? Well, I guess you're going to have to tell me that. Malcolm's clinic nurse, Barb, does the honours. But the first reading is not encouraging. OK, Mark, well, that's, um, that's very useful, actually, because... Um, what it shows is that your blood pressure is quite high initially when you first take it. In fact, it, you know, it is really quite high, 160 over 100. Although a second reading is lower, Malcolm feels the best way to accurately gauge Mark's progress is for him to spend a day wearing a blood pressure monitor. Well, we put a little cuff on your arm just like that, and that's attached to a little gizmo, um, actually just like this, which is a little, little unit which um, inflates the cuff every, every half hour uh, during the day and every hour at night and we can, we can um, print out exactly uh, your blood pressures over the whole 24 hour period and we can see when it's high what you're doing you have to fill in a diary at the time and, uh, and because the important thing is what's your overall average blood pressure. As far as his hypertension is concerned this might be the most important day of Mark's life. He's off to record every activity in a diary, which Malcolm will be able to match against the monitor's printout the very next day. So you can see that initially when the cuff was put on, it, the blood pressure was a little high, and then this was the time when the diastolic re reading was a little high, but then it progressively fell over the course of the evening. During the night, blood pressure was really very low, and uh, then this is when he was uh, flying, and then uh, driving back from the airport initially a little high and then uh, subsequently came down again. So I think we can be really very comfortable now that Mark's blood pressure is actually under really good control. The total average for the, for the 24 hours for those uh, blood pressure measurements was really very good, 124 over 78 millimetres mercury. So, so that's, that's really totally normal and very acceptable. That's the news Mark wants to hear. Over the last four months, Mark has followed his plan. He has reduced his alcohol intake, watched his diet, exercised regularly, and lost 10 kilos in weight. And he's giving full credit to the health hazard team. The advice has been fantastic, really. Um, everybody's come on board and just given me a little bit of a chip. And uh, I can, when I put all of those together, it, it's had the, the benefit that we were looking for. Um, I found that dropping the eating, eating better, more exercise, less playing, and it just fell away. It wasn't hard, it wasn't difficult. It just happened really easily, really quickly. Mark's improved a lot. He, he, he's done really well. He has lost 10 Ks. Mm. Awesome. He's got his gym session now is, is not just pumping big weights, big muscles. It's, uh, it's stretching and it's cardiovascular. Yeah. And he's fitting it in regularly to his lifestyle. Even when he's away, he's planning a bit of work, what to eat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and in terms of, you know, my, my initial concern, like I said, was the alcohol consumption. And he's cut that back. I mean, it still would sound a lot to some people, but he's having half a bottle of wine on the nights that he does drink, but he's actually having a couple of nights a week, which is unheard of for Mark, where he doesn't drink at all. Well, I remember so, at the beginning you said if he could just cut his alcohol in half, and so he's done that. Yeah, he's and, done that. And that's reflected and more. in bloody good changes, eh? Mm. So. And he's eating a bit more frequently as well, whereas he, he used to have quite big gaps and, you know, have a couple of big meals a day and yeah. um, spreading it out. So really, he's made a lot of changes, I think. You know, he had a lot of things in front of him. It wasn't just the hypertension, which which he had as, as, uh, as a thought, um, but some other health issues, yeah. and he's made a lot of changes, which is in a yeah. short space of time. That's the best thing I ever did, and um, the reality is this program's given me a chance to almost get my body back again and get it renewed, take it back 10 years. I've knocked, knocked all that time off it.